Hi, we're Falling Bodies. What's up? Falling Bodies is Frankie. It's Andrew. Marcus. And I'm Shara. This is the real world. All right, we're going <laughs> to be driving this car, and they're going to pull me on the rope. And the goal of this, believe it or not, me, hello, is to <laughs> find out how much work the car does on me. And you guys want to add anything? No, that's, that's pretty good. And we'll uh, set everything up later. Pretty yeah. risky stunt, so uh, yeah. he's healthy right now. There don't, might be a before. Don't try this at show. home. Because uh, Jackass never performed this kind of thing. So, uh, let's do this. Now for the real deal. Alright, so Frankie from Falling Bodies. Yeah, this is cockpit cam. We're gonna be taking measurements of the speedometer for like our velocities initial and final. And I have a stopwatch on my phone, so we can record the guess how much time elapses. And I the think rope. we we got the rope here, and it goes back to Mark, Mark's back there. Marcus is back there. All right, let's <laughs> but do wait, this. and then we got a. We got the odometer so we know how far we went. Let's go, let's do it. All right. On three. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's go. So V initial is zero. Going up. V final is about 20. We'll probably watch the tape again later to check how fast we went. And we're done. Woo! There's Shar in her car. Here comes Marcus. That was so exhilarating, guys. Oh my god. Yeah. Hi, this is Falling Bodies. I'm Shara. Um, we just came in from outside doing our little experiment with Marcus driving behind um, Frankie's car. And we're going to show you all the measurements on the whiteboard on how much work was done on Marcus by the car. And uh, this is the this is the image that I see when I uh, look at the video. I don't see the car or anything. I just, this is what I see. And uh, it's a free body diagram, and um, the F shows the force of the car working on Marcus, and that's the friction force working on Marcus, which is the opposite way, which will be negative. And um, there's the weight, the down arrow, and then the normal force is up, and uh, yeah, and moving right along. This is data that we obtained. Uh, our initial velocity was zero because we started from a standstill. Our final velocity was 20 miles an hour, converted it to 8.9408 meters per second. Our uh, initial time was zero because we started at zero. T final was 13.44 seconds. Um, the distance we traveled was 0 0.05 miles, converted it to 80.4672 meters. And to find the acceleration of the car, we used average acceleration, which is delta V, or change of velocity over change of time, which from our numbers here, it turns out to be 0 0.6652 meters per second. And now Shara's gonna hook us up with the mass. Yeah. Um, so we need the mass of the car in order to find the force of the car. And the mass of the car we found to be 1025 kilograms. And the mass of the people in the car, which is Frankie and Andrew, was um, 72.5748 kilograms. We multiplied that by two since there's two people. And we get the total mass, which is 1170.1496 kilograms. All right, then we had to find the force of the car. As you know, F equals MA. And so the mass here, which we found over there, is 1,170.1496 kilograms. The acceleration, which we also found, is 0.6652 meters per second squared. And that equals 778.3835 newtons. So now we need to find the work done by the car. 
Work equals four. Work equals force cosine by the the angle times the distance s. The work of the car, 778.3835 newtons, cosine zero. If you saw in the video, I was very level, and there was no angle from the rope. So that's zero angle. Nice there was an angle, but there wasn't. And then the distance over here, 80.4672 meters, and that equals 62,634.34 joules. And then the, the frictional force. In order to find the frictional force, we need to know the rolling force. How do we find that, Andrew? So, we tried to look this up in the book, but it wasn't there. So then we went online to look it up. So, the rolling force is equal to the coefficient of rolling friction times the normal force divided by the radius of the wheel. And we found the average value for the coefficient of rolling friction for a hard rubber wheel, which was the wheel for the lower blade, on pavement was 0 0.05. The normal force is 880.04 newtons, which is what we found is Marx's weight, which is equal to mg. He weighs 198 pounds. We converted that to kilograms, multiplied it by gravity, and that's 880.04. And the radius of the wheel was 0 0.30381 meters because it was one and a half inches and converted it. So that comes out to 346.47 newtons. And then we have to put all of that to wrap everything up, which we go back to Marcus. Back to me. Okay, so the, the, the work of the, the friction is still F cosine times the distance. And the friction over here we found was 346.47 newtons times cosine 180 multiplied by the distance s 80.4672 meters and that gives you negative 27,879.47 joules. And after all that hard work they did figuring out the workforce. I'm here to find the total work, which is why we're here tonight. And uh, work total equals the work of the car plus the work of friction force, which is negative because it's the opposite direction. And doing all that, we added together and we got 34,754.87 joules. And that concludes tonight's viewing of our show. Hope you guys like it. And, uh, yeah. Marcus! Freaky! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, buddies. Bye, buddies. Bye, buddies. Bye, buddies. Bye, buddies. Evolution never happened. <laughs> <laughs>